so in section 2 we spoke about industry 4.0 and now in uh, section uh, lecture 4 we will look at blockchain myths ma'am i had really like too many questions regarding blockchain and i want to like want you to clarify all my doubts today so let's do one thing you you talk about the myth and i'll talk about the reality and actually what is it right now so i have heard that blockchain and bitcoin is the same thing oh no it isn't let me tell you bitcoin is a cryptocurrency which is an application of blockchain so it can be configured for many other applications also okay but until now it was like uh, every like almost many people who i met for them it's the same thing because today. they don't know what is blockchain right. so the technology is about blockchain and the basis is used in bitcoin but uh, bitcoin became very popular and so blockchain term picked up after that okay um so how is blockchain better than the traditional databases we wouldn't say it is better it is different from the normal databases because in a traditional database you put data into a table or some sort of a structure and then you retrieve it from there but the database is either distributed or in a single place so centralized or distributed blockchain is basically imp- uh, very valuable or important when you talk about a low trust environment so it is suited in case of whenever there's an intermediary and you don't want the third party to be used so blockchain is not a database Okay, so we can't really compare blockchain and database. You cannot together. because blockchain is a combination of having peers which stores the data, and we use the peers when you know that there is no trust in the environment. Okay. Is blockchain hundred percent secure? In a way, it is. It is uh, secure in terms of because the of the way the data is stored. The data which is stored is in immutable data structure, and it is uh, secured using cryptography. Immutable means. you can add the data to the blockchain but you cannot delete from it okay so in that sense it is secure but then what if someone tries to decrypt the hashes you can decrypt the hash but then your each uh, block is linked to the other block to the hash and this pointer how many pointers can you change right so even if you change in one place the uh, the data is also on the other peers so that that will not tally so if you st- if you make a change in one place where you have the data Now this is where it is different from our traditional database. Okay, now I got got the difference. Correct. So now you understand how it is different. Is blockchain a truth machine? You can't say it's a truth machine basically, but blockchain can verify all the native data contained in the blockchain. So in every block, whatever is stored can be verified. So off-chain external assets can't be verified because verified because they're not stored in the blockchain. but when you put data in the blockchain you only validate and put it there so in that case the data in the blocks it is a truth machine okay is uh, blockchain immutable or tamper proof in a way it is immutable because you know it is only append only data append only means you can only add data to it so data can't be deleted once you have added now in this sense blockchain becomes tamper proof if greater than uh, in a way it is tamper proof but if If more than fifty percent of the network is controlled, and the previous transactions are rewritten, then you will need immense computational power to uh, to 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 find out the truth. And in that sense, it is impractical. So it is not tamper proof, but it is not possible to tamper with the data. Uh, but what if I want to modify some data? You may modify in your blocks. If you have, if you are a peer, you can modify your data. But uh, that doesn't mean the data in the other blocks will change in the other other peers. Okay. So then they will not tell. So, do you think this gives you a fair idea about the myths? Uh, that what are the myths and the reality? Yes, this was really helpful. So after looking at the blockchain myths, we have um, taken up the in uh, brief about industry 4.0 and blockchain myths in section two. Now in section uh, three, we will focus on overview of blockchain and types of blockchain.